what is up beauty babes welcome back to my channel if you ain't know i like to clap anyway if you are new to my channel welcome if you are back if you are a returning subscriber what's good what's popping you are a real one thank you for coming back and supporting your girl um before we even get into the video hit that subscribe button you are already here why not join the family um but yeah we are going to be getting into the next episode of beauty and the business i will be doing this green eye look here today but we will be talking about your logo i'm going to actually do a video and show show you like how I create my logo but this is just talking about like how you can go about creating your logo or having your logo made but mostly about vendors how to choose your vendors what questions to ask your vendors what to look out for um, so yeah if you're interested in hearing about how to find a vendor what questions to ask your vendor how to go about it possibly even me dropping a vendor list making it easy for you then yeah keep on watching and let's get into the video all right you guys so we are gonna jump right into everything my face is already primed and moisturized my brows are done so we're going to move into eyes first because I'm not really sure what I'm doing um, I'm gonna be using this Milani gilded jewel palette um, I haven't used it yet, but there's just like, I think I want to do something green, but like I've never done green eyeshadow before, so, ooh. um, I'm not really sure like what to do. I'm also not naked, by the way, I have like a TikTok one. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing, so that's how I want to do my eyes first, just in case like I hate it and have to redo this. So first I'm going to prime my eyelids and then I will be back to start eyeshadow. Eyes are primed. I brought you in a little bit closer so you'd be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing as far as eyeshadow. So first um, I'm going to, oh I scratched that. I'm going to start with this green, it's called Emerald Envy. I'm going to put that all over my lid and just start packing that on um, and making sure that color is really intense and dense in my on my lid so um yeah that's the color i'm going in with first so the basics when it comes to your logo um this is going to be on all of your packaging this is going to be on your website this is going to be everywhere so it's really important to um you know make sure your logo is oh this is already intense um, make sure your logo is something that you are proud of, that you are content with. I mentioned this in my last video, like I said, you can always rebrand, but it's a lot of work to rebrand. So there are all types of logos. Um, there are cartoon and animation logos, which is like, it'll have your brand name and then maybe like a eyelash, or it'll have a, your brand name and then maybe like, you know, whatever, you know, your, uh, Whatever you're selling, you might have like a picture of that logo um, or your logo will like include like, um, what's I was gonna say? It'll include like sparkles or like something like that. Like it'll be like animated, it'll be, you know, um, it's not plain. And then there's also text-based. Now text-based is what I prefer. Um, I'm, like I said in my other video too, I'm very simplistic when it comes to, you know, my brand. I want things to be able to be transferable throughout my brand and like, you know, whatever I'm doing that I can transfer my logo and that, you know, I can kind of shape and, shape and shift with my logo and, you know, it's just clean and it's simple. So that's like what my logo is, it's text-based. Like I said, you want to be thinking about the future and like what you can do with your logo and stuff and what you can do with your brand and with a text based logo, it's just much easier to, um, it's just much easier when you're thinking of the future and you're thinking about expanding and like, like I said, where you can take your brand if your logo is text based. like. It's just easier, I promise you. You can put it on merchandise, you can put it on, like there's so many other things you can put it on and you can, you know, be more free range with your color schemes if you wanna change things up if your logo is text-based. Um, but it depends on you and it depends on what's best for you. I'm not gonna tell you, you know, how to live your life or how to, you know, design your, your brand. What you want and what your vision is, you know, go with that. So off camera, I cut my crease real quick. If you wanna know more about how to cut your crease, watch my soft glam tutorial. I go into depth a little bit more about like how to cut your crease. This is like a halo eye cut crease. I'm gonna do a halo eye, I think. So um, yeah, I only cut it in the middle. 
Um, so next I'm going to go in with this light green here to set the concealer in place on the cut crease. So when it comes to your logo, you have a few options. You can create it yourself using brands like um, Canva. I use Canva personally. I feel like there's really no other app that you need to use, but you can use another app if you find another app that, you know, floats your boat or whatever. Um, but like I said, my preference is Canva. I use Canva to make everything, um, but definitely use Canva to make my logo. I don't like this brush, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I used Canva to create my logo, and if you uh, are, you know, tech savvy, if you are good at creating things yourself, or you want to give it a try, that's, you know, one option. It's free. I mean, you can purchase Pro if there's a font that you want to use that is not offered in the free version of it. But honestly, there's so many fonts with the free, that are free that you really don't need to purchase anything. But you know, if you want to go ahead and I have Pro because I use it so often for many different things. But like I said, there's so many options for you when it comes to the regular um, Canva that's free that you don't really need to purchase anything. Next, I'm going to go in with it's called Brilliant. I'm going to take that and try and use it on this the outer parts of the halo here so um yeah with canva it's really simple it's really easy to use um if you're really having trouble using it you can go right onto youtube and look up a tutorial there's tons of like pictures and animations and just like there's just so much stuff you can use if, even if you want to use it to make a animation based um yeah an animation based um logo that you could still do the same thing on there they have tons of stuff on there next i'm going to take this color called tiara it's like a greenish gold you can't really see it on camera because of the lighting but this greenish gold color and i'm going to put that in the center of the halo eye so outside of being able to create it yourself you can pay someone to create them there's plenty of graphic designers you can find them on instagram you can find them on google you can find them on youtube like wherever you want to look to find a graphic designer to create your logo for you you can hire someone um and prices vary or you know once you found your vendor which we'll get into some of them do offer to create a logo for you so those are your three options when it comes to your logo you can make it yourself you can hire somebody like a graphic designer or if you find a vendor that you really like and they offer that service you can use your vendor um to create your logo for you so this is as far as i'm going to go for right now with my eyes i'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera then we'll move into like the rest of the face foundation concealer all of that stuff so i'll be right back after i finish the other eye and we will go into how to find your vendor all right so let's talk vendors before we get into anything i'm going to be using the milani i'm using a lot of milani products today i'm going to be using the milani um screen queen foundation in the color spice toffee all the um all the products that i'm going to use are going to be in the description box below um so let's talk vendors so with vendors um this is going to make or break your brand you want to be very meticulous about this this is not something you want to rush this is not something that you want to take like half it like you really want to take your time to do your research on the vendors because you know they're going to determine the quality of your brand you know like you know they're supplying your product so you don't want to have a trash vendor you know and I'll be honest with you now like there are a lot of people who are scamming there are a lot of people who are not sincere and who are misleading about their products and it'll look one way online or in pictures or in videos and then you'll get the products in your hands and it'll look completely different so disclaimer before you even get into it like i mentioned about doing your research like this is one of the things like if you're gonna research anything you know this is it you know um so this one you want to take your time with and you really want to you know look as in depth as you can into you know the people who are you're looking into so when it comes to finding a vendor there are many different avenues you can take you can search it on google which you know is easy um, you can go on YouTube. Some people on YouTube have um, their vendors. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if they have their vendors, but I'm sure there's somebody on YouTube if you look it up. I mean, there's tons of videos on how to find a vendor. Um, 
the most common ones that people on YouTube mention are Alibaba, AliExpress, and DHgate. Um, I just had a really bad experience with DHgate, so they're off the list for me. Um, not when it came to my lashes, but with another product that I was trying to order, and it's been a, a whole debacle, a whole mess. So, me and DHgate, nah. Um, so you can use those. Those are the very common, like, um, websites that a lot of people use to buy in bulk and buy wholesale things for their, uh, brands, whether that's lashes, whether that's, you know, lash, uh, tweezers, boxes, lip gloss, um, bottles, and, like, all that kind of stuff. A lot of people use those, so those are very popular. Um, there's also Instagram that you can use. You might be able to check on Facebook. There's a lot, like, a lot of social medias will have, um, lash vendors, but the most common ones I would say is Google. Look on YouTube to see if anybody has a vendor list or listing their vendors, and I would say go on to, um, Instagram and you would type in the hashtag, like, lash vendor, hashtag, uh, lip gloss vendor, hashtag lip gloss box vendor like anything that you're looking for just use the hashtag when searching on Instagram and that will take you to people um, and like the hashtag and obviously like pages who have tagged that hashtag in their um, description box because that is what they sell so you'll have two different sorry I went off camera and applied my mascara my concealer before I just started rambling I'm supposed to be doing my makeup anyway so when it comes to the different types of vendors like I mentioned you have the vendors who you know create all the product themselves they have their own warehouse they have their own workers they literally make and ship everything themselves you know like they're actually the producers of those products when it comes to you know finding a vendor on Instagram and using a vendor on Instagram I will tell you now that a lot of the Instagram vendors you can find like the vendors that you know make their own product and sell their own product all themselves but when it comes to the Instagram vendors you are going to pay a little bit more um, I do in my opinion think especially because most Instagram vendors which is people who have like who have purchased the um their own inventory and then like resell it to you um they are easier to communicate with their us based um but they will be more expensive so that's the only thing about you know instagram vendors that i will warn you about now is that um you might pay a little more for their products than you would if you found a vendor who like I said produce and ships from their own you know warehouse they actually make the physical product themselves um, like I said Instagram vendors they're repurchasing so they spent their money and now they still have to make a profit off of it so they're going to charge you a little bit more um, for their products but depending on what it is that you are purchasing from them um, lashes I wouldn't really unless they're making them themselves you know purchasing lashes from instagram vendors like i said who've already purchased them from somebody and now they're reselling them that's just not a route i would go um what i would do that for is if you're wanted to do like a lip gloss company or a lip gloss brand and you weren't like you're not good with like formulas and stuff and you wanted to like sell lip glosses that's a really good um I would I would definitely use an Instagram vendor for that one of my favorites that I love is called Karachi Cosmetics and they make bomb lip glosses um Mocha P Mocha P Beauty Mocha Princessa she makes um a lot of lip glosses and resells them and they have really high quality like nice lip glosses that they sell for wholesale um that you can use and um that's one thing that I would actually use um, the uh, Instagram vendors for is for lip glosses but I would not use them to purchase lashes I would look, definitely recommend you using for lashes to, to pick a company that creates and produces their lashes themselves and will sell it to you next I'm just gonna set my face using my tried and true my um, mm, black radiance setting powder in the color banana this is the color banana I can't stress to you enough the fact that you have to take your time with this and really be thorough I would make a list of like the top 10 I would make a list of top 10 and then narrow it down to top five um, because like I said this is really important for you um, in your brain and you want to make sure that you have the best quality possible and that you're getting the best you know 
you're getting the most for your money you're spending your hard-earned money on this so you want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth for what you know you're paying for so I'll let you know now a lot of the vendors especially like I said if they're making their own there are some US based but if they're making and producing their own product most of them are going to be based out of China or overseas there's there's not that many that are based out of the US so automatically off the rip you're gonna want to understand that it's going to be a time difference so a lot of the vendors my vendor I had to communicate with them late at night um, and also through WhatsApp. So if you don't have WhatsApp, make sure you download WhatsApp. A lot of them communicate through WhatsApp. Um, it's much easier than through email. I will, I will be honest with you. So if you don't have WhatsApp to communicate with your vendors or to communicate with vendors in general, definitely download that. Um, but be aware of the time difference. So a lot of them are going to be communicating you, with you late at night so unless you want to be taking days and months and weeks to get in communication with your vendor definitely make sure that you are prepared to stay up late so that you can talk to them and communicate with them in their time so that you can have the the quickest and you know fastest response between you and your vendor now we're gonna bronze using also black radiance bronzer color I think is rich mahogany um, so important questions you're gonna want to ask your vendors what is their MOQ MOQ is minimum order quantity. So what is the least amount that you can order from that uh, company, you know, and have it shipped to you? Most of them are gonna be between 50 and 100. Um, I know with the sites like AliExpress, Alibaba, um, DHgate, usually they're around, those ones for sure are usually 50 to 100. When it comes to the websites like, um, like I said, the websites that create and they have a like their own website, they have, you know, whatever, they make the lashes and sell the lashes or whatever supplies that you're looking for. Um, their MOQs tend to be a little bit higher. I think my vendor, the MOQ was a hundred. Um, so for me, I ordered five, five different uh, styles of lashes once I ordered my inventory. So that was 20 each. Um, and that's important when it comes to that MOQ because especially starting off which was important for me like I didn't want to order tons and tons and thousands of, of, of lashes like it's, it's unreasonable because you're just starting out so you're not going to be as busy you're not going to be selling as much and then you're just going to have tons of lashes sitting around and god forbid you're not successful or this flops like you just have all these lashes or if you have a lash style that's not that popular you have tons of lashes now with that lash style and what are you supposed to do with it so the lower the MOQ the better um, when it comes to ordering your lashes because it gives you more wiggle room for me it was really important because I got to see I got to order a less amount I sold out of a certain lash or just you know I sold a certain amount of lashes and then I was able to see for the next time I ordered that I can order more of this lash but I don't need that much of this lash because that one's not really selling and I don't have to worry about like, like I said, having a high MOQ and having to order like tons, like thousands of lashes that I'm not going to use. I'm going to go in with blush now. Also, when asking about the MOQ, ask about your samples. That is also one of the most important things is asking if you can um, have lash samples. The reason this is, is because a lash can look a certain way or any product can look a certain way online but when you get it in person, it could be totally different, whether that's a lash and the style of it and the wispiness of it or, you know, lip gloss and the coloring of it or just anything. You want to get samples of your product before you release it to the public because you want to make sure not only the quality is correct, but that, you know, even if it's a good quality, that it's what you're asking for. Like I said, it can look a certain way online and then when you get it in person, like, this ain't it sis like this is not what I asked for um so also be sure to do that um with my lash brand their MOQ for samples was 10 so I picked 10 different samples I think it was really and it was it wasn't that expensive um I think it was like each lash was itself was like a, between a dollar and a dollar fifty um and I was able to order 10 different lashes now the thing um that's the thing so the reason why it's so important to ask about MOQ is because, especially when you're ordering from China or anywhere like out, like internationally, I'm using highlighter. Um, when you order internationally, you're going to encounter um, higher shipping costs. So your shipping is going to automatically be at least 
20 to 30 dollars if not more depending on where you're shipping from so it's important to know because you don't want to be or like you're going to be paying a lot for shipping so you don't want to be ordering too small of amounts because remember that you're going to have to pay for higher shipping so even though my lashes my samples were ten dollar like less than ten dollars or up to ten dollars for all my samples i still had to pay thirty dollars in shipping so my my samples itself cost me forty dollars to get my samples so keep that in mind also um that the shipping for your um your products especially from when ordering from overseas is going to be more expensive so it is more advantageous to order more but still don't go overboard most vendors usually have their pricing listed on their um websites but it's also still important to ask what the pricing is that that way everything is crystal clear there's no guessing or assuming because one lash might be this amount and then you know another lash is another amount so you don't want to be caught off guard make sure you ask for sure the pricing of your um of all of your products whether that's lashes whatever you're buying make sure you know the exact pricing of it so that like I said you can budget and you know exactly what you're paying for and you know like you know there's not going to be any surprise fees at the end when it comes to putting your invoice together and now you're ready to order and now all of a sudden something costs more than what you thought it was so definitely make sure you ask the pricing of everything before you decide to complete your order I'm gonna start on my lips to prep my lips and to moisturize them a little bit. I'm using another Milani product, the Milani Fruit Fetish Dragon Fruit Peach Lip Balm. A lot of this stuff is all from their new collection that they just came out with. Um, but the next question you wanna ask your vendor is how long it takes for your orders to come in. Especially if you're doing custom packaging and you're going to have your logo and stuff on your packaging, which I'll get into custom packaging next. It's going to take longer to customize and design your packaging if you're not just going to get a standard box or whatever. So it's important that you ask how long it's going to take, especially so you know, you know, in, in terms of starting your business and how long it's going to take for you to get started and get your actual inventory in. And with that, like how I did... I knew how long my inventory was going to take to come in so I opted to do pre-order pre sales because I ordered my inventory, I knew it was coming but it was going to take a while so I wanted people to be able to order their product um, but still, um, you know, I wanted pe people to be able to order their product but I didn't actually have my inventory in yet but I knew it was coming. So that is one reason why um, you want to know how long it's going to take. But not only do you need to know that for ordering purposes and like starting your business, but when it comes to inventory, you also need to know, this is really hard to do while talking, you also need to know for inventory purposes because when you're ordering your inventory, you don't want to run out of product. And if you know that you're ordering, if you're, if you know that your, you know, product takes, you know, three to six weeks to come in or however long it takes to come in, well, if you wait till you're all out of product, now you have yourself and your customers waiting th like, you know, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks for your products to come in. But if you know that that's how long it takes and you see you're halfway through your inventory, well, now you know, okay, you know, three weeks before I need to order again, I need to, you know, stay on top of my inventory and be double checking. So it's really important to know, you know, how long your inventory takes. And then I know with my vendor, um, once you have already done like your ordering the next time and like the times after that, it shouldn't take as long to, uh, you know, process your orders and have it come through. But the first order especially is the most important one to know, like I said, if you're just getting started because the longer your shipping takes, like that, that changes your timeline for your business. So. You definitely want to know like when it's coming so that you can prepare yourself next I'm going to go in with lipstick this is I'm just gonna do like I'm obviously doing like a nude this is also <laughs> Milani it's in the color I am pretty just a nude pink um, but the last thing especially when it uh, when it comes to finding your vendor is gonna be your customization of your boxes so most if not all brands uh, offer customization not so much when it comes to the Instagram brands or somebody who's selling wholesale, they're just selling you the product. Most of them aren't going to do custom boxes and packaging, like they'll send you the packaging that they have, but as far as customizing it for you, 
generally if you order from somebody who's reselling or wholesaling you know as their business that they're not going to um they're not going to have um custom packaging but with the brands that i said like i said that are um you know making their own things they'll customize their packaging for you so like i said if you don't have a logo some of them will offer that service to do the logo for you you can pick a logo and you will be able to um, have that design for you through that brand um through that brand but through that website or through you know your vendor whoever you're purchasing from i'm just applying mascara um you can have your logo created through them or like i said you can make it on canva make it yourself and then send the png files um to the vendor and then they can just literally put everything on there i designed every single like piece of my um my packaging so you know my pa packaging is pretty plain i have just like a white box and then let me actually show you so these are actually the lashes I'll be wearing next. Is this, this is the lashes in the style goals, but I designed this logo myself. And then on the back, like I have my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and my email and my website, but I designed this myself. I don't know if you can like see because of the, there you go. So I designed this myself. Like I said, I made this on Canva. I literally just made this and then I sent them the file and they just put it on the box so that's one thing you can do they can do that for you if they offer that service so when it comes to customization whether you're doing lip glosses lashes um you know whatever type of packaging that you're looking for most of it is customizable you just have to obviously ask them because if you don't ask them that like they're not going to you know assume that and put it on there for you like you have to ask them and you have to go back and forth about it also for when you're doing the lashes one thing that i forgot to ask them was if they can label the lashes for you the lash style so put like the lash style Ooh, excuse me put the lash style names on the boxes for you um if you don't have somebody to do that for you if you don't have like your vendor if your vendor doesn't offer that or they don't do it like i think i actually did ask my vendor to do it and they just forgot to put it on there so what you can do is you can buy a label maker um the fonts are not as pretty um but if you don't really care about the fonts and you just want something simple you can purchase a label maker and put the labels on there that way or you can um buy little small Avery sticker labels which you can purchase off of Amazon which is what I personally am going to do moving forward for my lashes and that way you can again design it yourself design whatever font you want to be on your labels and then you're able to stick them on them yourself and you can make it a little bit more customizable when you design it yourself so you know important things to definitely ask also when customizing your packaging for lashes or for anything that requires like different styles is to ask if they can label it for you as well so I went ahead and finished off camera I finished my eyes I added some ooh, I added some highlights to my inner corner I put my lashes on these again are from my lash brand um, my cosmetics business beauty by bombshell link will be in the description this is in the style goals um, so yeah and I also put on this little green dress because you know got a cool with the names one of them. so yeah I am actually super happy with this look I for not knowing what I was supposed to be doing this is actually really cute um, but yeah so that's you know the, the information I have for you when it comes to finding your vendor again remember that this like this part is so important to take your time with really you know have you know if you find a vendor that you like have that vendor but have a backup have more than one backup have like five backups have a list of at least like 10 vendors that you can go to that you can choose from so if anything god forbid was to happen with any one of your vendors at any time that you have you know vendors that you can go back and forth in between and you know like what you, what to expect and you just have backups like you want to be prepared um but like i said you're you're spending your money you want the best quality and you want the best that you can get for your money so you know take your time you know like i said there's tons of different vendors if you guys want or actually i might do it anyway I will make a vendor list, not just for lash vendors, but like a complete vendor list for like a lot of different things, whether that's lashes, clothing, um, like all types of cosmetics, you know, whatever I can find, I can put that together for you. So I will put that in the description box below, probably for you to be able to purchase, probably not for too much. If I can figure out how to do it, I might just drop it for free. Um, but obviously like I'm still a businesswoman, I'm still trying to make money, so I don't believe in charging like crazy prices. I still want it to be um, approachable. 
I still want you to be able to have the means to get what you need. But like I said, I also am an entrepreneur. I also have a business, so I'm also thinking business minded. So I wouldn't say it would probably be more than like ten, fifteen dollars. But just you know, obviously to support me, and if it's and it's a easy way to find. It's not the Instagram vendors. It'll definitely be the vendors that create and produce their own product themselves. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, uh, hopefully we'll be able to link that down below as well. I'm going to figure out a way to do that and get that to you guys. But yeah, um, thank you for tuning into another episode of Beauty in the Business. I hope you like this look. I hope the information in this video was helpful. If you like what you saw, if you enjoyed the information that I gave you today, if you here for this look then like comment and subscribe if like i said if you want that vendor list please comment in the comment section below and let me know um if it's not already in the the description box by the time this video goes up i think tomorrow um please comment below i will try to get that up as quickly as possible but yeah that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me like i said i am sharing this information as it comes to me and I, this is what i've been doing like i said i'm, I'm just starting my business as well so this is information that I am just getting and I am passing it along to you and hopefully we can grow and uh, you know be successful and have our businesses and whatever I get I'm willing to give to you so I'm wishing everybody the most success and I'm hoping that this information will help you be even more successful in your business and also thank you for all the views on my last video um, the how to um, how I package and uh, ship my orders um, Y'all showing off for that video. I, it's up for a week and it almost has like a thousand views already So like thank you so much for watching my video um, But yeah, stay tuned for the next one the next episode of beauty and the business will be out next Monday So stay tuned. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next video, but it will be out Monday So you'll see it then so thank you for watching have a wonderful day and yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Bye